Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio version 10, we have what is called Threshold. And this can provide a variety of different effects that you may find in an image editing software like Photoshop. So first, let's take a look at what it can do with shading and shadows. So as you can see, I have just some weird shape on screen. And let's double click on the layer here to go into our layer settings. And when we go to shadows, you'll notice now that with shadow, shading, and the 3D shadow, that if we turn this on, we have what is called threshold down here. Basically, every one of these options has it now. Whenever you can create a blur, you should have the threshold option. And we'll take a look at some other things here in a couple minutes that will also have this option. So, as an example, let's turn shading on. And we'll create a blur effect here for it. And then we will apply... Well, actually, let's take threshold off first and then hit OK. Let me put this blurb down to about 30. Hit apply, OK, and render this out. So that's what we're used to. That's what it would typically look like. So going back into your shadows, let's then put this to zero. OK, and render. So that's what it looks like without a blur effect. And as you can see, it looks kind of rough. You know, it's really... Uh, kind of rough around here, it just kind of abruptly ends and you kind of have that thing going on. So thresholding can kind of help with this. Let's go back again into the shadows tab in your layer settings. Now let's put the blur back to where we had it at 30. And when you put blur on, you will then have the threshold option. If you don't have a blur effect, it won't be enabled for you to click. So once you have that, you can hit OK. And now when we render this out, you can see now that what basically happened is it takes that blurred shading effect and it sharpens it up, but it keeps the rounded edges that would occur when you apply the blur. So that could be useful in a few different situations depending on what you're doing. And if you come back in here, if you were to increase the size of the blur, let's say like really big, you can really see the results here. They're much more dramatic and you can really see it's rounded off there. So there could definitely be some uses for that when you're working on your projects. And the same can be done, as I said, for your shading, shadows, and perspective shadows. Now, if you go into your fill effects, let's say we do a shaded effect right there. You can see we have it right here. If we put a blur on, we can turn threshold on and we can even see a live preview of it as we turn it on and off. So again, that's pretty cool. And this can be applied to anything that has a blur. So for instance, a soft edge, you can see here we have the threshold option. Now, when we turn this on, you're not going to see much going on in the live preview. But let's put a blur of about 20 and then put the threshold on. And as I said, it basically takes that blur effect, that rounded blur effect that is created and then makes it hard. So we can hit OK and render this out. And you can see that we have sort of that roundness going on in the fills. So you can play with that and really get the effect that you want, but just know that you can do it with fill effects as well. Now finally, double clicking, we can go in here to just the layer settings and where you can blur your layer, you'll see right here that we have a threshold option as well. So we could, for instance, blur this to about 30 and let's put the threshold to about 128. And remember, this won't work unless if you have a blur going on. Hit apply, 
OK, render it out. You can see now that we have some weird kind of funky colors going on here. And this is what Threshold will do, again, in a program like Photoshop, if you use that filter. So that's what you're seeing here. Now, there are some other things you can do with this. Let's say you like that rounded look it's giving your layer, but you don't like the colors it's doing. Well, OK, we can go back here into the layer settings. And there's now a colorize layer setting here. We can click that. We could choose a color. Let's say a dark blue. We can adjust the opacity. Hit OK. Render this out. And now you can see we have something like this going on. Now there's one more thing about this that's pretty cool. And I will create a new tab to demonstrate. So let's put some ovals on the screen. Let's uh, make sure these are filled in when we are creating the shapes here, just to make things easier. So we can add some ovals in like so. Have a couple overlap like this. Maybe one more like that. Now we go into our layer settings and we will go to the blur and we'll put it back to 30 the threshold to 128 and again you could play around with those values if you wanted to click OK render this out and you can see now what it does is it takes those individual shapes and combines them you almost get like a blob effect going on or some sort of liquid effect so what you could do then going back into your layer settings is you can turn on that colorized layer effect. You could choose a color that you want. Click OK. And then we could, we could come here and we could just do some animation. So let's move it out to here. Just take some of these shapes and move them about. just as a quick example. So we kind of have something like this going on. Now let's go like halfway between the animation and hit render here. You can see that we have something like this of course with the green but if we were to backtrack and hit render you can see that we could have a blob or liquid effect animating out very easily here. So that again is a pretty cool effect that you could play with with the new threshold option. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.